Right, what are we going to get today? Oh, there's already a big line here. But what are we going to get today, Mr. Ian? I mean, they the menu's up there, you know. I was thinking, man, I was, I'm kind of a cookie type of guy, so I want, I want like, two cookies, maybe. I don't really like their coffee or whatever they have, or the hot chocolate. I don't really like any of that stuff. Maybe some brownies. Yeah, you can... Mm, brownies are good. Brownies are nice, too. Maybe I'll get one of each. I don't know. I am really hungry, though. You know, Rick and John's doesn't open for another hour. So, it's like... Because it's, like, really early in the morning. Rick and John's doesn't open for another hour. So, we can't get, like, real lunch stuff. Unless we, unless we go down to... Uh, what's that place called? We would have to drive to the city. And uh, maybe... Or Gas and Go. Because I know Gas and Go has, like, a bunch of gas station food. So, maybe, you know, driving down to the city... And go into like the uh, Liberty Cafe, or maybe um, Rick and No, I said Rick and John. I'm so stupid. Um, three guys. Yeah, I don't. I'm not really in the city much anymore. Ever, ever since we got moved to Station Two, I'm, I haven't really been in the city much. So I like honestly, I forgot the name of that place. Also, I like your helmet. It looks very, very shiny. Did you clean it or something? My helmet has never looked that good. Plus, my helmet's um. Plus my helmet's um like dirty. I just need to clean it. Cause of that uh like yesterday when we responded to that fire. It was just like really, really smoky down there and it just got it really dirty. Oh, it's my turn. Uh welcome to spring break or what can I get for you today? Um hello, can I? Can I just have one of each, a cookie and a brownie? Now that, and that'll be all. You know, I'll just go ahead and uh, set my card right there. Go ahead and get that. Just letting you know. What? Is there something wrong here? I just want my cookie and my brownie. Discount for first responders. Oh, okay. thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah, guys, I forgot to mention we are on duty today. Um for station two you know we've just been doing nothing yesterday we did respond to a um, little little tiny house fire you know in one of the trailer homes or whatever it was, it was pretty it was okay but it wasn't much and then uh, the rest of the day we were just doing nothing honestly and i think that's going to be the same for today but it is the morning time we have yet to have breakfast i heard one of the firefighters is also cooking um oh i forgot to say thank you thank you sir have a have a nice day um, but yes, yeah, somebody, somebody in our, uh, fire crew or whatever is going, is cooking some eggs upstairs, actually. So, you know, very, very nice to see that. I was going to sit down here, but I guess there's not really, <clears throat> but we might, might as well head back. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't really hurt to have a cookie and a brownie. I mean, it's not too late. I mean, it's not too early, but I have yet to have breakfast. So I might save it until I get the eggs. I'm just going to start heading back now. Ooh, it's, I can I can go. Some, dude, sometimes I like honestly forget and I just wait until those things. And I hate waiting. And I'm just going to cross because there's no cars. I think there's also a bunch of people like working out and stuff. Um, in, in the office. I mean upstairs. Okay, that guy's just doing what he's doing. Uh, okay, no. They aren't working out, but... Hey, are you making eggs? I'm, I'm really hungry. We just, me and um Ian over there just stopped at the bakery. I think he's still there getting his order or whatever. We just stopped at the bakery and grabbed a cookie and a brownie. So, I, mean, I was just wondering. I, I don't want... I want to save it. No, I, no, I... It's downstairs, but I want to save it. Maybe to eat some eggs first. Good? Okay, okay. Oh, do you want coffee? Oh, so she is making eggs. The eggs are almost ready. Perfect, perfect. All right. All right, maybe I'll just go ahead and go get a little workout in. Don't mind me, everyone. Oh, time has changed, man. I remember my old days in Station 1, look, looking out the window and just seeing um, the park. And it was just so amazing. And then the gun store next to us. You know, we have several, several threats, but, you know, we're, we're fine. But, he said, you do not make good eggs. <laughs> Why are you guys having beef? What the heck? Oh, there's, look at, there's, uh, Ian. 
I see he's back from going. So I'm just gonna go ahead and watch some TV now, honestly. Everyone, let's take this response. All right, station two is going to be in route, and we have to go respond to this fire. We do have our, our, an engine currently, a ladder truck. I just got to get my gear on. Right, let's get our turnout gear, get our helmet and SBCA. Let's get a ladder and a fire hose. I think that should be enough. All right, yep. All right, everyone, let's go, let's go. The ladder truck's gonna go, uh, after. Oh, these guys need to hurry up and pull over, dude. Pull over. We got the fire. It's it's right down there at the barn. So I'm just trying to go. We're also trying to keep cautions. Uh, I think half the team is already there, but it, it, that thing looked like it was heavily on fire, dude. Don't even know like what even caused it. Uh, you know, farmers they they always have something going on. But uh, spray the silo so it doesn't spread. Yeah, probably gonna have to do that. Alright, uh, dispatch, go ahead and show us on scene. We're gonna be, uh, at the barn getting everything. Oh, we don't have any fire hydrants, do we? Alright, good thing we have a little brush truck. It might have a tiny bit of water, but we need a tanker over here. Sheriff's office supply? Nearest thing, yeah, I know. I have a fire hose. It does have some water in it, so I can try to get that taken care of. But, other than that, I have no idea. I'm going to try to get a little bit closer here while the brush truck is going up. Just try to spray. I don't have that much water, but I do have a backup extinguisher. So that'll work too. I don't have that much water. Oh, oh my gosh, it's getting like really smoky back here, dude. Alright. Taken care of. That guy's got the ladder. Dude, look up there. I can barely even see the sun. It's just like all black smoke over there. Really, really goofy looking. All right, the fire's almost out. Uh, my my simple my hose just ran out of uh, fuel. Um, wait, do I have water in the back of my? I I don't. I thought I didn't fill it. I guess I do. All right, but let's let's get my fire extinguisher. That's like my last resort. Other than getting water from inside my, my truck, but that guy already has it. So, guess we should have came more prepared. But I mean, it's also the barn. You can't really get much out of that. So, what can you expect? Alright, this one should be almost done. He should be spraying it from the inside. 
We also got some stuff on the roof. We might need a ladder up there. Might need to get a ladder up there. This little fire thing will not go out. The fire extinguisher is almost out as well. Somebody go in the barn and get the windows. Yeah, I'm trying, man. Will not go out whatsoever. Brush truck is filling up. All right. Oh, yeah, they do have the sheriff's office supply. I forgot about that. Which is a great thing for us. Surprisingly enough, the sheriff's office is literally right there. They literally have a road. Where is it? It's literally right here. They have a road going up there. So, that's nice to, that's nice to, uh, the, oh, okay, that fire's finally out, alright, hopefully my wa my truck doesn't run out of water, or else that guy's done, alright, let's get my ladder here, maybe I can just, uh, right, I'm gonna go ahead and set it up maybe right here, I know it's very hot up there, and I know the ladder truck has already got their stuff up there, but, you know, any anything helps, so, might as well just get up there and help them. Yeah, this one's at a very awkward angle. I got little mini fires up here. We have to try to get. Alright. It's almost almost done. I see somebody else spraying that too. Alright, let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I swear it's over here glitching because of the smoke. Alright, everyone. We managed to get most of the flames out. But now we just need to do our uh, check over here. Just make sure nothing's going on in the barn. You know, stuff like that. So, it looks to be clear. The lights are still working. Surprisingly, the lights are still... What's that thing up there? Oh, no, that's just him. I thought I saw a little something. Yep, go ahead and take that back to the truck. I gotta go ahead and get my ladder up here. Alright, pretty weird fire. Um, I'm gonna t go ahead and talk to dispatch. I'm gonna say, do we have... A owner or like or a f or a farmer because like there there's no one we can go ahead and talk to um, about this because uh, we kind of need one it's owned by the state oh, okay yeah that makes sense I'm gonna have to go ahead and report it back then uh, we're gonna go ahead and need it but yeah All right, everyone. I think it's safe to say we go ahead and uh, pack up here. Sorry, ma'am. There's uh, nobody that has been hurt right now. So, I mean, nothing much we can do. So, why don't you go? Out? You can got. You can go ahead and head back here. You gotta do a pike pull check. Yeah, go ahead and start the pike pull check. I'm just gonna go ahead and put my stuff back on. Make sure the. Uh, Attack, whatever, I forgot what they're called. Make sure that thing's off. And then, gonna go ahead and put, I'm gonna go ahead and put away my ladder in my uh, fire extinguisher. And yeah, let's put away the hose. You know, uh, keep my helmet on and stuff. And I don't need a flashlight either. Go ahead and put that away. But, right, if there was any more smoke, we would need a vertical ventilation by chainsaw. Yeah. But thank, thankfully, there, thankfully, there's no, uh, there's no more. I mean, I have a chainsaw in the back, but I'm not sure about anybody else. So, all right, he said, blank, 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 check, and heat check is stable. So, I think everything is good. We good to go? Yep, we can uh, return to quarters, all right? All right, everyone, let's get out of here. We gotta go, I gotta go ahead and make the report to the state as well. Let them know their barn caught on foot. We we still don't know. We still don't know what caused the fire. You know, I assume it was just like an outbreak. You know, they have the lights on. And the lights have probably been on for a long time. You know, maybe some cords. Something. You know, I, I have no idea how it could have happened. But right now we're going to go. Just go ahead and head back to the uh, fire station. Station 2 now. So that would be pretty cool. All right. Authorized vehicles only. I don't know what those guys are doing. They might be getting in trouble by the sheriffs. We will go to firefighter intel to see what caused it. Yeah. Go ahead and get the intel unit down there. Definitely going to need it. 
But yeah, guys, we're gonna go ahead and head back to the station right now. And just chill, maybe. Maybe. No, what I wanted to do, I've been wanting to... Like, my shift ends. What was I guys saying? Piece of junk. But yeah, my shift ends. I'm gonna put my lights on right now. My shift ends uh, about a few hours. So I was going to go see if all the firefighters, they wanted to do like a movie night. I know some of them are staying overnight, but the overnight crew hasn't came in yet. So it's also uh, five o'clock. So the sun should be getting going down in a little bit. So that's nice. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get my regular uniform and uh my station uniform and we can go ahead and talk about this uh, movie night or whatever so oh my gosh like now the sun's almost gonna go down and i don't even know hey guys everyone head up to the uh bunk rooms i want to i want to tell everyone something i think some of them are already up there yeah right, hey guys i'm uh, having a, a little announcement i want to make all right just wait for him to come upstairs but uh yeah so i want to go see a movie you know when the when the overnight shift comes in how would you guys want to go see the new police documentary or like the it's like it's like a law enforcement documentary by amaze plays the front on i think it's called on the frontier how would you guys like to go see that it's it's tonight uh premiering at 9 p.m that's cool yeah. All right. So when we get off our shift, you know, put just put on your regular clothes, pull up to the movie theater. I'm not paying for you guys. So I want to make that clear. You guys are paying for yourself. We'll deal with the fires. We haven't the overnight crews coming in. I said when the overnight crew um, comes in. So, yeah, you guys go ahead and uh, do what you're supposed. What is this guy doing? I'm running around with his little firefighter uniform. I guess he's not coming. All right, everyone. We just got off our, off of our shift. Going ahead and uh, going to the theater. The uh, other crew just went in. This came in, so going ahead to the theater now. I'm here to see the Amaze Plays documentary. Yeah, I guess we're all here to see that. All right, guys, go ahead and line up. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when we are going ahead and watch the movie. Now, time is uh, 2052, so you know, hopefully everything's going good and stuff like that with a. Uh, the other station you know i'm glad i'm off the shift today but uh yeah i'll see you guys when we do get into the movie theater oh yeah dude who's ready to go see this movie man i i know i am i booked the top top floor all right um, i booked the top top floor booked my seat and uh if you guys did enjoy this day in the life of a firefighter at station two let me know in the comments below let me know what you want me to do in the next one you know, very, very excited. Very, very fun video to film. And uh, make sure to join all my discords. Links are down below. And I will see you guys tomorrow for the next ERLC roleplay. Goodbye, everyone.